I, I'm an agile coach with Rally. Uh, every uh, two or three times a year, all the coaches get together where we share our learning, our knowledge, and brainstorm ideas and, and um, share problems. Uh, and uh, last summer, at one of these gatherings, one of the coaches was, was talking about the fact that she was going to have to go and do an introductory to waterfall, introduction to waterfall. And she wasn't quite sure how she was going to teach this as an agile coach. Um, and it was lunchtime. We weren't taking it that seriously. Um, and I kind of came up with this great presentation, and I suggested all she has to do is stand up in front of the audience and say, no. No. And then we put together a little slide deck which had the word no in lots of different colors and fonts. And, and then one of my colleagues found this video. I said, just play them the video. Um, that's relevant to this talk, because actually the way, um, the way I think about Kanban is, you don't have to say no. The way what I'm going to talk about this afternoon is some ways to think about your process so that the choices that you make are just, just that, they're choices. And they're not right choices and they're not wrong choices. And there's no best practice and no dial that you turn up to 11 because that's clearly the, the right thing to do. Um, they're levers. So this is where the idea and then the title of the talk, leverage points, come from. Sometimes you might want to pull the lever back a bit, sometimes you want to push the lever forward a bit. And the, the combination of the levers is what makes the whole thing work. Right, who am I? <laughs> I'm Carl Scotland, as I said, I'm on a coach with Rally. Um, this was me uh, a long time ago, in a former life. Um, this was back when I was at the BBC. Uh, this is around about when I started uh, getting to grips with Agile. It was a kind of good playground for me to experiment with with different ways of, of doing things and experience scrum and dsdm um, and one of the, the projects one of the well it wasn't really a project it was a, a, kind of a product and an ongoing stream of work um, before i kind of knew that those were good that was a good way of doing things um, we we won a bafta so i'm kind of very proud of that that's me on that side just in case you couldn't watch that. Uh, that was my project manager on this side um, so Kanban, who knows what Kanban means? Signboard. Sorry? Signboard. Signboard, okay. Literally, correct. Ken Kenji's not in the room, is he? No. So this was actually written on the back of a Kenji Hirabnes, who's a conference business card, and he gave it to me back in something like 2007, and I've kept it to this day. Um, partly because it reminded me how to write it 